Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Both Airbus and Boeing have recently been embarrassed by problems on their flagship airliner programs. Keith Campbell is with me in studio to take a look at the story. Keith, welcome to Second Take. Airbus recently discovered cracks in the wings of the A380 Super Jumbos. What is the story here? Well, basically, it is a manufacturing problem. The way they assemble the wing has caused cracks to appear in certain uh, L-shaped brackets. Uh, used in the assembly of the wing, and not in all aircraft, in fact, only in a tiny minority of cases. Uh, th these brackets uh, are used to connect the skin of the wing to the ribs within the wing. And so far, the incidence rate of cracks um, in these uh, brackets, which are made out of aluminium, is about 0.25%. However, the discovery of these cracks required an inspection program to be launched. The European uh, Aviation Safety Agency initially required that uh, about 21 A380 Super Jumbos be inspected. Uh, that has since been amended to inspecting all of the aircraft. It's not an immediate threat to safety, but if unaddressed over a long period of time, it could potentially become a safety issue. Reports also emerge about problems on the Boeing Dreamliner. Can you tell us more? Again, it's a manufacturing problem, or more technically, a, an assembly problem. The 787 is unique in that its fuselage is made up of sections which are manufactured out of comp composite materials in one piece. Now, these sections, these fuselage barrels, are then assembled to form the aircraft fuselage. However, they're not strong enough on their own to sustain the stresses of flight. So after they're produced, they're then fitted inside with frames and longitudinal stiffeners called longerons. Now, the tolerances, the quality of manufacture is extremely high, but nothing fits perfectly. So there are always little gaps when you put in the longerons or the frames and they stick in tiny pieces of material called shims to fill these gaps. If they don't do this, then when they uh, fasten the frames and longer ones to the fuselage barrel, there's a chance that they will damage the fuselage, that they will cause what's called delamination, which will then weaken the fuselage and could, again, in the long run, be a safety problem. And they discovered that the shimming process had not been done correctly. So they're having to inspect all the 787s that have been produced so far and all the fuselage barrel sections that have been fitted uh, with frames and stiffeners. Do you think these problems will affect the credibility of Boeing and Airbus? No, uh, the, you always get these kind of glitches uh, when you're bringing out a new aircraft, especially aircraft that are major advances over previous generation, which the A380 and the 787 are. The A380 is much bigger than previous airliners. The 787, as I said, is using this radical method of producing fuselage barrels in one piece. Airbus use a lot of composites as well, but their approach is to use panels, which are then assembled, not to do it in one go. And it's certainly not affecting the sales of either aircraft because airlines are very well aware of the problems that you encounter uh, developing and manufacturing brand new aircraft. And, you know, you go back, you'll find problems, analogous problems with just about every new generation of airliner that has ever been introduced into service. Keith, okay, thank you very much. That is the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.